there is no advanced restart button in this particular ROM hence I am using volume up and power button to boot into recovery once the POCO logo appear you can remove the button on the power button and continuously press the volume up button again you will receive a haptic feedback then you can remove the other finger too it will be booted into TWRP latest recovery for POCO X3 slash NFC I made a dedicated video how to flash it and the available download link once it's put in recovery go to wipe section and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it later go to home again and select the micro sd card in install select micro sd card wherever you downloaded the rom zip files first go there first flash the firmware 12.5.5.0 surya global not the other one surya in or surya eea that you need to keep in mind whatever your device is you flash the same firmware again go to install and select the rom zip files in this video what i'll do is i'll flash the spark os 12.4 unofficial let's flash this security patch is 6.5 you can see here uh, spark os 12.4 based on android 12. it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see here the rom zip file has been flashed successfully again go to home and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go back to home select reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method of spark os 12.4 based on android 12 on poco x3 slash nfc use the same method you will never face any problems in this video i am going to explain everything detailed regarding this spark os stay tuned till the end of the video and set booted into spark os let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you're watching sampath sanfx youtube channel and this is the poco x3 custom rom reviews you can see here spark os 12.4 has been flashed in this rom and surya an official build this is android version 12 some of the specifications and 5th june 2022 security patch has been updated and kernel user is 4.14.281 dex k kernel has been used this is the spark os and i have been running the cp throttling test from last six minutes and six milliseconds you can see the maximum is 150 and average is 146 and minimum is 134 million gps I, I have already kept the title and thumbnail regarding this why this will give very good battery life and even it supports 33 watt charger very good i mean if you want to charge like 15 to 85 90 percent then this is going to be a very good fast charging rom in the name itself it is spark os but it is something different than that you won't get any high five performance you get very good performance yeah it's fine not gaming rom or anything like that but it will give very good peak performance in day-to-day -day task and youtube or some of the basic works you can do it in this particular rom and good thing is the battery life and the charging speeds as you can see this is the screenshot i took 61 percent i kept for just one half an hour or 45 minutes it was around 97 percentage that speed of fast charging is so stable if you use it for a couple of days it will be even better in my opinion and coming to home screen you get simple home screen you can customize them and you can change them according to your usage you can see widgets everything is fine here and there's a home screen the smoothness is not up to the mark yeah i can understand but it is not bad either and you can see i have here like 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 internet connectivity and call recording call making no problem in this rom you can see here those things are also fine here let me show you the dialer and increase the volume and there's a volume panel you can see dialer you get direct video call feature is also available and recording feature is also there simple things are fine here. 
coming to quick settings panel this is also very simple you can see here if you want you can edit here just drag them for example i need not to keep location always turned on and sync also i'll drag it okay this is how the quick settings panel options and everything let me turn on the location and sync even with turned on also it's giving me very good battery life that's what i was always explaining and you get this kind of camera application which i have seen right now the rom previous rom but ignore it you can use this kind of pixel i mean google pixel camera it will work fine even 1.2x zoom everything is fine here you can see this is the gcam i am using the arno build gcam it's working fine in majority of the roms only two to two, three roms i tested it's not working this is how the spark is you can see here and there's a settings panel you get before going into that i'll review the apps first i mean the android benchmark result you get very good score 3 lakh 62 thousand 790 you can see 0 0.9 degree celsius is the battery temperature rise and battery percentage drop us three percentage but it's still good i can say i have found this could be a very good battery life and charging speed if you are looking for this that kind of roms this could be number one i can say even arrow is in some areas like fast charging it doesn't come as close as this one that's what it is but in battery life both are equally same it depends upon even usage pattern also drm info you get level one certification you can watch all the audit application in hd resolution that's not the problem those things basic things are fine you can see you can decrease the icon size also it's by default it's like this and safety net status also it might get past this is an unofficial build but still you get past the safety net status you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use you can use those things you can definitely try it out as a daily driver also you can see here the single score is 523 and multi score is 1584 and the kernel as i said before 4.14281 dex k linux kernel has been used here that's fine for day to day task and i will also show you the bgma gameplay also that's what i noticed and this is settings you get kind of customization themes lock screen status bar gestures miscellaneous and power you know in the miscellaneous you won't get any option maybe yeah you won't get any high fps count option or google photos unlimited storage is available by default no need to worry about that themes you get monet engine use black theme this is very important for me at least pitch black dark theme and that's how it is this is all the customization i explained in like two months back i made a video on spark OS. many people neglected this hence i named the title as very good battery life and charging speed rom because very rarely you see both the combination in particular rom or even including with very good performance it is very rare hence i want to confirm you maybe i may be wrong you can confirm by commenting down below guys if you have experience very good experience or bad experience with this particular rom you can comment down below and share your experience this is my experience i try to change roms every day or sometimes even i use for a weeks i used this previously that's how i still notice that this is very good rom as you can see battery usage one hour 17 minutes it's a very good battery life whenever you use this rom you will come to understand that why i am stressing that much regarding battery life and charging speeds for those who need that they will definitely flash this the apps and display settings i already shown you get all the basic functions here low power refresh rate massive maximum minimum refresh rate battery life i have already shown sound and vibration you get haptic feedback customization is also available me sound enhancer the direct sound settings you can choose the headphone type and preset from here those things are gonna hi-fi audio is not available we have seen in the previous video security you get face lock fingerprint app lock smart lock and encryption credentials and by default it is encrypted and accessibility menu it's available switch access everything is fine here you can see all the under tall style settings has been added that's how it is 
location settings into system i will show you the gestures here system navigation into the gesture navigation here i yeah there is option very good you can see the pill here if you want you can enable or increase the radius and length here that's really cool nowadays i am saying this kind of arms very good three fingers screenshot and one handed mode everything is working fine why people don't use this rom let me know in the comment section guys i found to be this is a very good rom in terms of at least battery life and charging speeds even the performance is also fine enough let's show you the bgma gameplay before that i will show you the charging animation because people miss out once bgma shown some of them watch it but most of them don't watch it as you can see it will show just charging slowly only now currently it's 95 percent but up to 90 percent it shows charging turbo charging not just turbo rapidly or anything like that you can see the fingerprint unlock is very quick here that is also very good the basic things are fine enough now show you the face unlock you can see it's also very very quick in my opinion considering this is an unofficial build still you are getting very good rom cap built is basic things and even the battery life again and again i am telling the same thing battery life and charging speeds you experience the same 90 percent of the people will experience the same maybe some random bugs are their usage pattern may differ hence they might notice bad or poor battery life that up to them i don't bother about that it depends guys that's how it is i will show you the bgm and wind of this video You can see the automatic brightness is calibration is also very good in this room and volume panel you can see the graphic settings is just you guys smooth plus ultra only nothing fancy here but definitely it's playable you can see in the video And by the way if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like most of them watching my videos but not subscribing my channel have a subscribe guys requested videos are also coming soon and i will be making q a session also it's been long time now i haven't made it let's see how it handles with 40 fps let me dis decrease the volume my pet is sleeping in the same room where i am recording he will be disturbed i have another chala channel also recently started if you have interested you can check out i'll give in the description now it's comfortable for me at least this hand cam videos is always difficult for me to make and even to record it screen recording is fine but uh, most of them haven't commented about that which one you need the hand cam videos or the screen recorded one
fine the gameplay is fine here um, I did not found any irritation while playing but definitely you won't get that 90 fps support that would be even better in my opinion fine really fine you can have it as a daily driver with this particular ROM I'll do one thing I'll come back here and uh, that's the verdict as you've seen in the video it depends guys not every day is Sunday it doesn't make good in gaming today it would be better it depends upon your gameplay how you play those things matters and if you know how to enable higher FPS count this could be better gaming ROM also it depends that's how it is and uh, according to me this is a very good balanced ROM with very good battery life and turbo charging support that's the review on this spark os 12.4 latest version on poco x3 slash nfc use the same method why how i shown in the flashing method you will never face any problem thank you for watching guys we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now